Hi, good morning everyone. Today I will discuss fifth question of today's assignment worksheets that is uh, conceptual questions of exercise 13.2 related with your tryouts uh, questions, example questions and your think around questions. Among that, your fifth question is of your today's worksheet. A dealer offered Successive discount of 20% and 6.25% on the mark price of electronic items and got 25% profit on selling of each item by what percent was the mark price above the cost price. Basically, you have to first find the, uh, find the difference between uh, what was the difference between mark price and the cost price. So, how much percent it was there? So, what is the percentage quantity of the difference between mark price and cost price? So, here two parts of the question is there. In the first part of the question, your successive discount is given to you. So, we will consider 20% is your first discount and 6.25% is your second discount on the mark price of electronic items. That is your first part of the question. So, we consider as first part of question is case one so here i will consider let mark price is equal to x rupees so discount first discount percent is 20 percent and second discount percent is 6.25 percent successive discount means if you have mark prices given so first uh, discount the first discount will be deducted from the mark price and whatever your remaining price is there after deduction of the first discount so second discount will be deducted from the remaining price so that we call it a successive discount okay that is your first part of the question here we need to find the what is the selling price if i have mark price discount 1% discount 2% so i have simple formula for that like selling price is equal to mark price of the successive discount with successive deduction so we can also apply the formula of decrease percentage also 1 minus discount 1% 1, 1 multiply by 1 minus second discount percent so when i open this one i apply the value i consider mark price as x 1 minus 20 percent 1 minus 6.25 percent now percentage uh, sign remove with uh, actual value that is 1 by 100 x 1 minus 20 by 100 1 minus 6 when i remove the decimal also here so that is 100 and this percentage sign will gives me 100 25 25 is a 625 25 fours are 100 25 fours are 100 that gave me 1 minus 1 by 16 now when i calculate here i take the lcm so that is 100 minus 20 by 100 into 1 minus 1 by 16 so when i further solve this one x 100 minus 20 is 80 by 100 into 16 minus 1 by 16 then selling price is equal to x into 80 by 100 into 16 minus 1 is 15 by 16 so here 10 0 is cancel 8 1 are 8 8 2s are 16 8 1s are 8 8 2s are 16 so that give me 0 0.75 x rupees so that is my selling price now that is your first part of the question if successive discount is there so what was the selling price on the mark price so we know mark price is given to us so we will consider here mark price is equal to x rupees now your second part of the question is 25 percent profit on selling of each item we got the value of selling price if 25 percent will be there on the selling price of the article so here in the second case what will be the cost price so when you will find the cost price you will find the difference between uh, which one is greater mark price or cost price you find the difference and you have to find the 
difference percentage so what was the difference percentage was there so in this case too in this case too so we have to find the cost price basically so if i have profit is equal to 25 percent and selling price selling price is 0.75 x rupees and we already found from the case one that is first part of the question so here instead of applying the proper uh, cost price formula so i can go with directly that a simple uh, selling price formula is simple selling price formula is equal to cost price of like increase like if whatever increase percent formula is there if 25 percent is increased in the cost price what you will do cost price plus 25 percent of cost price i can apply that formula i just apply the value so it will be easier for my calculation remembering uh, instead of remembering number of formulas if i just keep in the mind my increase percentage formula so whatever value in which value is increased that is cost price is increased okay so that becomes a selling price because profit is given to us so selling price is equal to cost price plus 25 percent of cost price and cut short formula is cost price multiplied by 1 plus 25 percent so here i just apply the values whatever given to me selling price is given 0.75 x cost price we have to find here percentage changes to 1 by 100 so 25 by 100 so when i take the lcm of this one 0.75 x is equal to cost price into 100 plus 25 by 100 so that becomes 125 by 100 so 0.75 x is equal to cost price into 125 by 100 here i'm not going to find the mark price because i'm going to find the cost price value in the form of x so this value will be cross multiply on the another side so 0 0.75 into 100 by 125 is equal to cost price when you calculate this one you will get in the fraction form answer because when you remove the decimal here so that becomes 75 by 100 100 will be cancelled and 75 by 125 give you 3 by 5 x is equal to cost price so when you solve this one 3 by 5 x will be exactly equal to 0 0.60 x is equal to cost price so that is a cost price in rupees we have already selling price we have cost price 0 0.60 x and mark price we will consider at the top as x rupees so cost price is 0 0.60 x is equal to mark price that we consider at the top so if you look at this mark price is greater than cost price mark price is greater than cost price that means what is the difference between that that means value is increased cost price is my original value because when you uh, buy any article from the market so um, so that is your cost price okay so when you keep in uh, keep with you and after some time you are going to uh, sell in the market so that becomes the selling price okay or before selling price if you uh, set the price on the article so that becomes the mark price so here mark price is greater than the cost price that means original value of the article when you buy from the market electronic items so that is value is less but when you set the mark price that is more so what is the increased in this so increased value increased value is equal to mark price minus cost price when you subtract this one mark price minus cost price so your value will be increased value after difference is x minus 0 0.60 x when you take common x 1 minus 0 0.60 x your required subtraction is 0 0.40 x so that is a increased value 
increased value now you have to find the what was the percentage increased above the cost present ki cost price se uh, how much percent values increased to become the marked price so here increase percent what was the increase percent our formula is increased value increased value by original value original value which when uh, means when you buy uh, the electronic items from the market what was the cost price whatever money you have to spend to buy the that particular electronic item that is your cost price considered as your original value so 0.40x 0.60x uh, as my original value cost price 0.40 as your increase value in 200 and percent so that is my formula so when i apply the formula when i calculate this one so my required percent is 66.67 percent this shows that percentage mark price above the cost price above the cost price how much money was more how much percentage of money was more uh, in the cost price that becomes a mark price so above the cost price is equal to 66.67 percent so that is my required answer next your sixth question is a retailer marks his goods at 30 percent above the cost price cost price means if a um, retailer uh, buy the goods for some price if uh, he increase the price 30 percent uh, whatever he bought from the market so he increased the price 30 percent he set that price as a mark price and then allows a discount of 30 percent then when he just keep that uh, goods in the market for selling so he write on that it will be a 30 percent discount that means how much money he marked on the article 30 percent will be deducted from that so what is his gain or loss percent you have to find in this so first we will consider here so what is my cost price because cost price is not given to us so we consider let cost price of goods cost price of goods is equal to x rupees according to that mark price is equal to cost price because 30 percent is increase in the cost price we can directly apply the increase percentage formula here so cost price into 1 plus 30 by 100 so when you solve this one cost price we consider as x 100 plus 30 by 100 that gives me 130 by 100 x rupees so that is my mark price now how much discount is given that is discount percent discount percent is given that is 30 percent 30 percent is a discount percent so according to that what was the discount price discount price is equal to 30 percent of mark price because uh, discount always calculated on the price set by the shopkeeper or set by the concerned person so that means that will be a mark price so discount percent always calculated on the mark price so here 30 by 100 mark price we already found here 130 by 100 into x now when you calculate that one zero is cancelled so my answer will be 39 by 100 x okay so that is my discount price. that means 0.39 x and if i go here so that is if you uh, that is 0 0.13 sorry 1.3 here if you check out that so that is 1.3 1.3 x rupees either you can go with the decimal or either you can uh, go with as a fractional calculation now you have to find the selling price selling price for finding the selling price selling price is exact amount paid by the customer after discount selling price is equal to mark price minus discount price so how much discount price was set by the shopkeeper that will deduct it from the mark price 130x by 100 minus 39 by 100x now 100 is common a hundred is same denominator so hundred one hundred thirty x minus thirty nine x that give me 
नाइन्टी वन बाय हंड्रेड एक्स ओके सो आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन दैट किल मी आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन दैट किल मी जीरो पॉइंट नाइन वन एक्स ओके सो दिस इज योर सेलिंग प्राइस नाउ इफ यू कंपेयर विद द सेलिंग प्राइस एंड कॉस्ट प्राइस हियर कॉस्ट प्राइस इज एक्स बट माई सेलिंग प्राइस इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन वन एक्स दैट मीन्स सेलिंग प्राइस इज लेस दैन वन एंड हियर कॉस्ट प्राइज इज एग्जैक्टली वन बिकॉज वी कंसिडर एज वट एवर कॉफिशेंट ऑफ एक्स इज देयर वन सो दैट विल बी द कॉस्ट प्राइज हियर सो दैट मीन्स कॉस्ट प्राइज इज ग्रेटर दैन सेलिंग प्राइज सो इफ माई कॉस्ट प्राइज इज ग्रेटर दैन सेलिंग प्राइज हियर my cost price is according to the statement cost price is greater than selling price so whenever cost price is greater than selling price so what it shows that is a loss loss means selling price uh, cost price minus selling price selling price is deducted from the cost price that is x minus 0.91x after deduction that gives you 0.09x rupees so that is a loss now you have to find the loss percent for finding the loss percent you have to divide loss value loss price by cost price into 100 then percent so that is 0.09 by cost price as x 0.09x into 100 percent after calculation you will get loss as 9 percent 9 percent is the loss now your seventh question is here what should be the price marked on a hair dryer which cost rupees 1250 to the retailer if the retailer wants to earn a profit of 14 percent after giving a discount of 15% so here also in this question there is a two part okay in the two part on the one part they said that selling price is of profit of 14% that means 14% is added in the cost price okay so cost price is given to me 1250 profit is 14% that means 14% of 1250 when increased in this so that become the selling price that is your one part of the question okay in the second part of the question discount and i already told you discount always calculate on the mark price so okay according to the mark price you have to find the selling price that means you have to find the selling price in two different ways one way is according to the cost price second way is according to the mark price so when you compare these two uh, uh, selling prices one with the cost price and one with the mark price so you can easily find the mark price of the hair dresser that we have to find so what was the mark price set on the hair dresser by the shopkeeper here no value is given of mark price so we consider let mark price as equal to x before solving the question let mark price as equal to x rupees okay then cost price we have given in our question that is rupees 1250 yes profit percent profit percent is equal to 14% that is my case 1 case 1 means we have to find the sales, selling price according to the cost price so my selling price formula according to the cost price is in the cost price there is an incre increment of 14% 1 plus 14% cost price value is 1250 1 plus 14 by 100 so when you solve this one selling price is equal to 1250 when you take the lcm 100 plus 14 by 100 give you 1250 into 114 by 100 after calculation you will get 1425 rupees so that is a first case of selling price when you have cost price and profit is given to you now you have to find the case 2 case 2 means now you have to find the selling price according to the mark price because you have discount is given to you okay mark price we have no given so we consider mark price as x selling price but we have to find the selling price according to the uh, discount so if discount percent is given to me 
discount percent is equal to 15 percent is given in your question so what will be the discount price so discount price is equal to 15 percent of mark price mark price we already set in our question is x rupees so here we will write here mark price as x percentage changes to 1 by 100 mark price as x so my required value of discount price is 15x by 100 rupees so that is your discount price so now we have discount price mark price we consider as x according to these two value so what will be the selling price selling price is equal to mark price minus discount price discount price because percentage is not deducted percentage you have to change into the proper price that deducted from the mark price so here x minus 15 by 100x we already found discount price as 15 by 100x now if we take x as common so here it is left in the bracket 1 minus 15 by 100x now when you take the lcm of this one 100 minus 15 by 100 lcm means here you need common denominator 100 and also 100 will be multiplied the numerator 100 minus 15 by 100x gives me 85 by 100 x so that is a selling price in the second case according to the discount so we got two types of selling price one from the cost price and second from the discount so here now we will compare because in both the cases if we got the selling price that means doesn't matter you are uh, finding the selling price uh, according to the cost price or profit or according to the mark price or discount your answer will be same then according to the statement both selling price will be same 1425 must be equal to 85 by 100 x so that is according to the statement doesn't matter you find the selling price in how which different way according to the condition but selling price ultimately your whatever amount customer pay to the shopkeeper so there will be a no change so here so when you compare this one cross multiply 1425 into 100 by 85 after calculation you will get your x value so that is your mark value that is 1676.47 rupees so that will be the mark price so mark price of hair dryer set by the shopkeeper hair dryer set by the shopkeeper is rupees 1676.47 rupees hope you understand well thank you have a